She's done it. Hillary Clinton has reportedly secured enough delegates to clinch the Democratic nomination for US president. And she's the first woman in American history to do so. For more, we're joined by North America correspondent Stephanie March. Stephanie, the Associated Press is declaring victory for Hillary Clinton, but she's holding off. That's right, Juanita. This is based on an Associated Press survey of the superdelegates. Now, they're the people in the Democratic Party who can essentially vote for whoever they want. They don't have to cast their ballot for a candidate until July, and they could change their minds between now and then. But according to this Associated Press survey, enough of them have now declared their support for Hillary Clinton for her to have secured enough numbers to clinch the nomination. Both she and her rival, Bernie Sanders, spoke to supporters earlier today in California, and while Hillary Clinton was confident she wasn't yet victorious. We are on the brink of a historic, historic, unprecedented moment. But we still have work to do. We have six elections tomorrow, and we're going to fight hard for every single vote. We have won primaries and caucuses in 20 states across this country. And tomorrow, in the most important primary in the whole Democratic nominating process, we're going to win here in California. Bernie Sanders there. Steph, you'd have to say the writing's on the wall for him. So really, by this time tomorrow, it'll be game on Trump versus Clinton. That's right. A good result for Hillary Clinton tomorrow and her ability to declare victory will allow her and her team to focus on their next target, which is Donald Trump. His support in the polls has surged since he essentially secured the nomination for the Republican Party last month. A lot of debate will go on around his controversial policies, like they have been recently here in California, not the least of which around a wall he wants to build between the US and Mexico. A watchful eye gazes across one of the most controversial places in America. Last year, border agents arrested about 30,000 people along this short stretch of the California Tijuana border. They think thousands more made it across without being caught. Like the rest of the US Mexico frontier, some sections are fenced, others are not. But all that keeps people from coming here is agents. There is no infrastructure here. There's no fence, there's no triple fencing, there's the yellow line. Christopher Harris is with the Border Patrol Agents Union, which has endorsed Donald Trump. What we want is a place at the table. And Donald Trump has told us and stated publicly that we would have a, as subject matter experts, we would have a place at the table. Mr Trump says he'll build a wall along America's southern border to keep out the Mexicans he's called criminals and rapists. They can drive through, walk through, but Christopher walk through. Harris says the problem is much more complex. He says it's not just Mexicans trying to cross, but asylum seekers. The big thing that we're getting now with the asylum seekers is from the Congo, Senegal, Somalia, Mali, Malawi, um, Sudan. The southwest corner used to be one of the busiest illegal crossing points along the US-Mexico border. Now there's a double fence here and only very limited access is granted to people who want to see their loved ones on the other side. For a few hours each weekend, border agents open a gate in one of the two fences. A joint church service is held across the divide. And so many of these people, it's the only way they can see their family or friends, uh, especially people who are in the United States but have some immigration status that disallows them from leaving the country. For some, it's a stolen kiss through the mesh. For others, it's a chance to get to know one another. Who's going to win? Mexico. Mexico's going to win? Yeah. David has only met his grandfather, Ignacio, twice, both times through this fence. Despite the challenges, some here think the human spirit is stronger than any barrier a politician could build. We're going to find a way to find a better life either way. Whether it's with a huge wall or not, we're just looking for a better, better life. A complex problem that a simple wall is unlikely to fix. Stephanie March, ABC News, San Diego.